back in just a couple of minutes. Well, three years ago this month, Bobby Harvey was found dead in Greenville County after vanishing from Anderson. His truck was then found burned up and his beloved dog was killed as well. But no arrests have ever been made in this case. We've been following it closely since the beginning. And tonight we're hearing from his sister as they continue to pray and demand answers in this case. Fox Carolina's Amber Worthy joining us live at the Anderson City Police Department tonight after speaking with family and has the latest on the case. Yes, guys, so Bobby has missed out on so much. His grandchildren won't even know him. And his sister says that she is hoping and praying that someone will bring information here to the police department and they aren't giving up hope that this will happen. I love you. I love you. I love yous from Bobby Harvey's grandchildren that he'll never hear. Vicki Harvey, Bobby's sister, hoped that they would raise their grandchildren together before he was killed in March of 2018, three years ago this month. And it's, it's not fair. It's not fair. So, yeah, a lot of times I look at them and I guess some anger comes over me and sadness and, yeah. Sadness that she tells me doesn't go away. I was very protective, and this was one time I couldn't protect him. I couldn't find him. She is holding on to hope that someone has details about what happened at the car lot in Anderson, where he went missing. I, mean, it could be your I see cases be solved that's 20 years old, and I'll never stop. I'll never give up. I'll never give up. Um, he wouldn't. He wouldn't give up. We sat together one-on-one -on -one in the house that Bobby helped renovate where Bobby planned to live after getting off the streets and helping others do the same. Vicki is begging you to come forward if you know anything. Maybe if I pray enough and I pray hard enough, somebody will come forward. And I reached out to the police department to see if they know any more about this case. We haven't heard back yet, but we will continue to follow up to see if they have any new leads in this case. For now, reporting live here in Anderson, Amber Worthy for the 11 o'clock news.